It weighs 22 tons. Its giant insect-like arms lap in the face of ice. And this floating monstrosity has a name, Amphibex. Just like having a big toy to play with, with an important job to do. It's the province's number one weapon against ice jams. But creating the world-class ice-breaking program that breaks 30 kilometers of ice on the Red River didn't happen overnight. There's a lot of trial and error. Uh, when we first started the program back in uh, 2006, uh, we probably broke as much Amphibex as we broke ice. And uh, from there, it was a matter of uh, fine-tuning, a lot of trial and error, a lot of uh, research and development. Once we develop the way to, uh, that we cut it and break it now, we're breaking the whole river right from uh, north of Netley Cut uh, to south of Sucker Bridge. The elaborate machine actually works on a very simple principle, gravity. As the Amphibex floats on the water, it extends its bucket and pulls its hull up onto the ice. Its weight busts through. The giant circular pieces on the side are stabilizers, preventing the Amphibex from tipping over. Finding the perfect balance only adds to the crushing power. Okay, now push this can down a little tighter. Now, now when you pull, you can actually lift a little bit too. Right on. Training an operator is a two-year process and staff is drawn from varying backgrounds. We have some Coast Guard employees, we have uh, commercial fishermen, uh, worked on the ice, worked uh, on water, uh, a lot of heavy uh, equipment operators that have that type of experience. Seeing the machines in this formation is rare. Normally we're all in, uh, in a row, like uh, not one behind the other, but one behind and off to the side of each other. Uh, and it's just a continuation of uh, following each other down the river. The ice under a bridge tends to freeze harder because the bridge limits the amount of snow falling on it. Less snow means less insulation equals thicker ice. The crew is ahead of schedule even with this bitter winter. When working in uh, wind chills of minus 50, it's hard on the equipment, it's hard on the operators. Uh, you know, we're out there in the middle of the night, 2 in the morning, breaking ice while everyone else is sleeping. And you're working in conditions that are visibility is almost zero and blowing snow, high wind chills. Even in the horrible conditions, this man versus nature battle keeps this crew coming back for more every year. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Blair Malstrap.